All right, when we left off, we had a snowboarder on a snowboard goes around the first penguin using object markers. Now, I do notice, if I restart this video, that there seems to be a slight pause in between each animation. Now, remember that each animation, by default, takes one second. But the, the pause is troublesome. If we could smooth out that animation, it would be much improved. So, in order to do that, we'll go back to the code. I've got three movements here using object markers, and if I click on Add Detail, I can change the animation style so that it begins and it ends abruptly. By doing this, I get a slightly improved transition between animations. Next, we want to get that penguin, after the snowboarder goes around the penguin, to lift up its wings and spin around. In order to do that, I select my penguin, select its left wing shoulder, and we will turn that backward about an eighth of a turn. Let's see how that works. Okay, so we got one wing moving up. We need to put it in the correct position. We'll put it here when it reaches the first marker and see how that changes things. Now, that's kind of weird. Let's work on the other penguin's wing. Right wing shoulder. Have it turn backward, same amount, and run it now. Currently, it's doing the animations in order. You'll notice when I restart, snowboarder moves, one wing moves up, the other wing moves up, snowboarder moves and continues on its way. I would like those wings to move up at the same time. In order to do that, I use a programming tile called a Do Together. I drag it into my code editor and now drag the two animations that I want to happen at the same time. When I run this, both wings move up at the same time. Let's do that again and get the snowboarder moving as well in that do together. So now we've got the snowboarder and the penguin lifting its wings at the same time. I could make the the penguin spin around while the snowboarder's on that third movement.